close your eyes, think thoughts of goodwill, goodwill for yourself, goodwill for the people around you. That's our determination, that we're going to look for a happiness that doesn't harm anybody, doesn't harm ourselves, doesn't harm other people. And then we turn and look inside. Notice where you feel the breathing right now. Focus your attention on your breath. Think of the breath not so much as the air coming in and out through the nose, but the movement of energy in the body as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Notice where you feel it. And notice if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can change. You can make it longer, shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Remind yourself that the present moment is not a given. In other words, it's not prepared for you, ready-made. You play a role in putting it together. And the way you breathe is one of the ways you put it together. If you breathe in a way that's soothing for the body, or energizing for the body, relaxing for the body, depending on what the body needs, you're giving the mind a good place to stay. And that way it's more willing to look at how it's not being all that skillful in how it puts things together in the present moment, how it talks to itself, what feelings it focuses on, what ways it has of perceiving things. All of these things can be changed. If you find that you're putting things together in a way that's not skillful, well, try to think of some new skills. This is one of the reasons why we listen to the Buddha's teachings. He gives us some ideas about new skills we can bring to the present moment. So this way you're not simply accepting what's there. Actually what you're accepting is the fact that you have some responsibility, and then you try to make the most of it. So instead of lowering your standards to make yourself okay with whatever happens, you're trying to raise your standards and say, I can do this better. And part of it is having the confidence that, yes, you can. The other part is having some skills, having some tools having some ideas you picked up from other people, and then you apply them, see how they work. And if they don't work, you use your ingenuity to come up with some new ones. This way you find that you can put yourself in charge, so you're not a slave to your emotions just as they come. And you're not simply on the receiving end of your thoughts, or just simply the way things are. You can play a more positive role in shaping the way things should be. So take advantage of this time to look at your breath, get to know it really well, and see where you can make some improvements. Now we can see for yourself that what was right, that the present moment is not just ready-made. It's something that we're in the process of creating as it happens. And we can create it in a better way, and we can create it in better and better ways. It's a skill that we can all learn.